What's up everybody? It's Allison. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are reviewing the Kylie Cosmetics holiday collection. Here is the big ass box. Yes, I bought the entire collection myself. I did not receive anything for free. Now, I will give you my thoughts on the entire ordering process. I ordered the day that it launched, when it launched, 3 o'clock p.m. My order went through at 3.04 p.m. I got the entire holiday collection bundle and then I also got the wet set which was separate than the bundle which I think you could have just threw that in the bundle and called it a day. Weeks go by and weeks go by and it took 21 days to get my order. I was getting so so frustrated. On the internet, Twitter's blowing up, Instagram is blowing up, everyone is blowing up. Everyone ordered all this stuff like the day before Thanksgiving and mid-December and nobody's getting their orders and people are pissed off and I was getting super super upset like what the hell is going on? Give me my freaking order. I paid over $300 for all this stuff and I wanted to have it to start the holiday season which in my eyes is like December 1st and here we are like mid-December now and I'm barely receiving my stuff. That was just really really sad on Kylie Cosmetics part what really got me is that I have a friend that ordered at the same exact time as me her order went through at probably the exact same time she literally got her order within a week I feel like it was she like had her stuff and I'm like oh my god I haven't even gotten a shipping confirmation like what the hell and I believe she ordered exactly what I ordered she ordered the bundle and she ordered the wet set palette she got it within a week I was just blown away and then there goes another week that I haven't even gotten a shipping confirmation there goes another week that I haven't gotten a shipping confirmation I even emailed them like what is going on like where is my order I have a friend who ordered the exact same thing at the exact same time and she already received her order. What I think really sucks about how Kylie Cosmetics is handling the situation is they're not even letting us know like why. They're just saying oh I'm just so sorry. In my eyes like every year I feel like the holiday season, Black Friday, Cyber Monday gets bigger and bigger and bigger and more chaotic and if you were a smart businesswoman you would honestly be able to vision that and prepare for it. Maybe hire a couple extra people to be in the warehouse packaging and shipping whatever it is that you guys do over in the warehouse I would have liked to see her better prepare herself just to keep her customers happy because I really enjoy Kylie Cosmetics I have a lot of their stuff a lot of their lip kits almost every single eyeshadow palette that she's launched and it was just super disappointing that this is the type of experience that we get going into this holiday collection so with that said let's get into these products what I do think is really cool is that the lip set comes with this little cover with her you know her little signature logo thing. We got the sugar set and the spice set. I think I'm just gonna literally put the gloss on and see what this gloss does. Oh, it's so white. Oh. Oh. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my wand has got some issues. We got little thingies going all over the place, so. Ugh. Not a good first impression. Wow, this gloss is like bam. Okay, so I had a little bit of foundation on my lips. You can totally see it like under the lip gloss. So gotta make sure I don't have that on there next time. But this gloss is beautiful. It's very, very beautiful. I could totally wear this by itself. These summertime, springtime vibes, you know? Mm, okay, even though the wand's a little messed up, I am digging this color. Let's try this one. We're just going to do a swatch here. Oh. Okay, so this one is completely different. It was like a little hard, actually. Really pretty gloss. Everyone's saying 2018 glosses are going to be in. Okay, so the one that I put on is called Sugar. And then the goldy one is called Butter. Hmm. Next we have Savage. Oh, and this is a velvet. Oh, that's a really pretty nudie, pinky color. 
I'm not the biggest fan of the velvets just because it does that weird thing on my lips, you know? And I have, I'm like super self-conscious the whole time and if I eat something, it's just like all over. Next color we have is Angel. Whenever this color launched, it, was it last holiday collection in 2016? Was it? I don't really remember. Um, but I had the mini and someone, someone came up on my little mini Angel and I really like the color so I'm glad that I have a full size of it now. Lastly is Boy Bat. And this is a velvet also. When it's like a purple mobby. Sorry guys, my swatches are not the best, so just deal with it. So very pinky, purpley, mobby colors. Not too bad. I'll be using these probably often. Let's get into the spice set. First color we are going to swatch is called Holly Berry. <laughs> it's a matte liquid. I think I'm going to like this one. It's almost reminding me of her liquid lip in Leo, I think it is. So a dark maroony color. Then we have Juniper. And this is a gloss. I forgot it was a gloss. All right. Could definitely put it over a lipstick or probably wear it on your own. It has a lot of pigment in there. Next we have Cinnamon. This is another gloss. I forgot. There was like all kinds of colored glosses in here. Oh, this one is really dark. It has so much pigment for a gloss has like a brown undertone to it. Next on the list, Clove. And this is a matte liquid. Perfect for the holiday season. Last up is Goals and this is a velvet. Oh, this is reminding me of her color Kristen, like that strawberry-ish color. Very pretty though. Yeah, I like all of these. Even that gloss. I want to try out that gloss and see how that be looking on the lips. And that completes the spice set, you guys. Very pretty colors, very holiday. I think my favorite is probably going to be that last one. What was it called? Goals? Ooh, I'm very excited to try that one. Okay, it was really hard to get those swatches off of my arm. Let's get into some swatches on these eyeshadow palettes. So we're dipping into Jingle. Very sheer. Let's try Ho Ho Ho. That's a cute cranberry color. I feel like I have like a bunch of those. Let's go into Mischief because it's just like calling my name. Okay. Maybe a little patchy but seems to blend well. It's going to be a great color for a dark smoky eye. Let's go into Glaze, this gold one. That one's kind of sheer as well. Hmm. I heard some stuff online about this green color called emerald, so I want to swatch that one. Oh, a lot of pigment comes up on the finger. Oh. Okay, my first initial swipe on there goes on really well, but then I go try to like blend it out and it starts to get really, really patchy. All right, dipping into the nice palette. I used a lot of these. I used these two today and this one, Blizzard. Let's do this purple color, Mulberry. Very pigmented. Seems to blend out better than the emerald color, so that's cool. All right, we're dipping into Gumdrop, which is more of like a champagne -y rose color. Oh, that's very pretty. Oh yeah, I want to get that on my lid. Okay, let's do Slay since they both seem to have like a gold shimmer color in both of the palettes. So let's see how this one looks. Oh yeah, this one has way more pigment than the other gold that we tried. Okay, so this one's more of a darker shimmer. More of like a brick reddish color. It seems like the formula on the shimmers in the Nice palette are like way more pigmented than the shimmers in the Naughty palette. Let's talk about this wet set though. Okay. When you just touch it, oh I love the feeling. I just feel like, I don't know, like all this weight to get a wet set and I'm just not, I'm not that impressed you guys. This is the dark bronzy color. That almost looks like the eyeshadow that I just swatched. That seems very sheer too. I don't know you guys. $62 for this and I'm just not, not like dying over it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I'm just kind of disappointed. Just kind of disappointed. Like why did I waste my money? Bring back the original wet set, Kylie, please. 
Last up, since I completely forgot about it, let's test out this Red Velvet Lip Kit. It's very pigmented. It's a super bright red. Oh yeah, that's a very pretty red, very pigmented. It's just the, the thing about the velvets is that they do that weird thing like on my lips and I just don't like it. Maybe the colorful red velvets or whatever, maybe it'll be a different story, but I do like the color. I don't feel like necessarily like the lip liner is the same color as the actual lipstick. All right, let's dig into these eyeshadow palettes. I do want to try to use like as many colors as possible. We're going to dip into this color right here, which is called Miracle. This color definitely has like a purpley undertone, unless it's the shape tape that I have on there that's making it look like that. So taking the same blender brush that I just used for the transition colors, I really want to dip into Macaroon right here, which is like a pinky purple color, but I think I want to mix it a little bit with Santa Baby, just to throw in a little bit of a brown tone in there. I will just say, you guys, there's not that much fallout on these uh, matte shades, so that's really nice. The colors seem to be blending out pretty well together, so that's a plus. Now we're going to start working on this outer corner. So moving into the Naughty palette, this color right here over on the corner called Hot Toddy. Um, it looks like a brown brick reddish color, but I think it has more of a purple undertone and it looks like there's some shimmer in there. So I do want to try this color out and I'm just taking like a shader brush. We're going to pack some color on there and pack it on the outer corner and blend it out. Seems to be a little patchy at first, but let's really pack this on there. Hmm. This color has uh, way more fallout than the other two colors have. Uh, uh. I don't like how this is looking. Maybe I'm using the wrong brush. We're just taking a smaller shader. Oh my god, what the hell is going on here? I'm just using my blender just to kind of blend everything out in that crease right here on the outer corner. Alright, everything is blended out to the best of my ability, and now we're going to get some color on the lid. The color that I'm looking at is this color. It's like a shimmery, purple, bluish type color. It's called Blizzard. I'm literally going to dip my finger in and get it on the lid. I don't know how this is going to work out, because nothing really comes up on my finger, but let's go. Okay, nothing's really happening. Let's try a brush. Just taking like a flat brush. I am gonna wet it with some Fix Plus. Now, let's see. I mean, nothing's really happening. I don't know if you can tell on camera how this is looking. I mean, it looks all right. You definitely have to really pack the color on, but I don't know. Okay, after packing on quite a bit of color, I mean, it looks pretty. It's not the effect that I thought it was going to give me. It's, it's all right, it's all right. Side note, who loves my headband with the, these little cat ears right here? Shout out to my friend Lisa Probes for getting this for me for Christmas. When Kylie launched her first wet set, I was so bummed because I tried and tried and tried to get it and I just couldn't get it. It sold out way too fast so I have been waiting for her to relaunch that or restock it but then she came out with this one. I like the colors in the original one better. I wanted a wet set so here we go. So I have this little highlighting brush from Wet n Wild that I'm going to try out. I'm literally just going to dip into it and see if it even goes on my cheekbones using this brush. Because nothing really comes on the brush when you dip it in. I don't know. Let's see. Oh. Well, it definitely gets that highlight on there. 
It's looking a little light patchy. Maybe it's the brush. I don't know. Is it doing something weird? Okay. I'm not feeling this brush. Let me try with my finger on this side. Oh. Do I just not know how to apply this? So I have a blemish like right here and I feel like it like literally intensified it. Ugh, why? Use a different brush. I don't know you guys, I'm not wowed. Maybe I have to use my finger, not a brush. But I hate applying highlight with my damn finger. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you guys the color I'm using is Sweet Dreams. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to have to play around with that, but I don't know. It's looking really patchy. Okay. <laughs> Why? Well, this completes this Kylie Cosmetics 2017 holiday collection. We had some hits and we had some misses. But overall, I think the thing that I'm most disappointed in is the wet set. Maybe I just don't know how to apply it correctly. I'm not too sure. It definitely was just a little bit of a disappointment. Like, I was very highly, highly excited for it. I thought I was going to live for it. I thought that it was just going to be everything to me. And it's really not. And I could just really kind of care less for it right now. Maybe I need to play with it a little bit more. I'm not too sure. But I'm just kind of disappointed in that. Besides the wet set, the whole shipping thing, 21 days, 3 weeks to get my order is just a little out of control. Please make sure that you better prepare for that in the future, Kylie, because I love your products, I want to support you, but you need to take care of your customers first. Customers should always be number one. I think the biggest thing with the whole shipping thing is that they didn't really tell us why. They just said, oh, we're sorry, like, it's going to be on the way. And there was a bunch of fires going on in L.A., so maybe that had to do with it. And if it was, just tell us. Like, we know what's going on in the world, but just let us know. Like, don't hold things back. Like, just be honest with us. And I think people will appreciate that way more than just trying to push things under the rug or whatever. Just be honest with your people because we do support you and we do follow you and you just gotta remember that and be honest with us. That's all we're asking for. That's it for this video, you guys. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed me going through all these products. Leave me a comment and of course subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!